Uh, hello and welcome everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Ramadan. This is uh, my first demo video for me. So excuse me if I do any mistakes. Uh, I have been reached by one of my uh, friends who was looking for an example to see how we can implement infrastructure as a code and how we can automate and manage configuring the infrastructure in on-premise environment, not a cloud environment. Uh, since I do have an idea of uh, the, his infrastructure, components, and architecture, and um, his environment is still working in virtual machines, not containers. Uh, so the vendor in that case is VMware vSphere, and it was hard for me to work with vSphere because it requires an enterprise uh, license, which I do not have. Uh, but if I got the chance uh, to, uh, to apply this on vSphere, I will show you how now as well. Uh, so I will just have uh, seven minutes, uh, around seven or eight minutes, just to show you this demonstration. Um, uh, let's start with our presentation here. This is the objective. We're going to show what are uh, the SRE and DevOps states and the definitions of them uh, using the single source of truth, which is Bitbucket for version controlling our uh, infrastructure configuration. Uh, we can apply CI CD pipeline uh, for our changes. Uh, so we avoid any downtime and apply our changes in less time. Um, so we have uh, for uh, to apply SRE concepts and the DevOps concepts. A lot of people think that DevOps are tools, but uh, in fact, it's a culture, not only a tool. And um, as you can see, this is the software delivery performance metrics that we want to measure. So uh, lead time for changes, uh, time to restore the service, deployment frequency, change failure rate. And uh, the fifth metric uh, is to move from affability to reliability. Uh, this is how we can measure it. So elite is the best uh, measure for these metrics. So the deployment frequency, which means that uh, how much uh, uh, you are uh, deploying your code to production or release it. You can do it multiply, uh, deploys per day. There is no fear of applying your changes. Uh, uh, also, there is no complex process to apply this. Uh, the lead time for changes, how many times uh, or how, how long you are deploying your change to production. Uh, I will show you now our deployment for Apache Web Server. It will take only one minute. Uh, not only one hour. Um, also, there are uh, there is a time to restore the service whenever a failure is happening. Uh, how we can roll back our changes, uh, and this happening by versioning uh, 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 and uh, as a bit bucket we will use. There is also change failure rate. How much uh, uh, your changes are being failed uh, through the week or through the month. This also as a measure of it. Uh, so we are seeking to be in the elite uh, measure uh, so we can achieve or be in, or we can say that we achieved the SRE uh, uh, concept or reach it to the high level. Uh, let's move on to our lab. This is the uh, version control bit bucket that my friend is using in his environment. Uh, we will go into this and show some practical stuff. This is the pipeline we will do. Uh, we are building our infrastructure code. We are planning it, testing, and applying it. All of these are automated. Uh, as a human being, interfere is just only to configure these steps uh, if there is any changes as well to these steps. And everything is automated. Um, let's go deeply into the infrastructure as a code. Uh, and as we know, there are some languages to use uh, to, uh, to be applicable for infrastructure as a code. These are uh, the environment of my friend that contains uh, vSphere, VMware, uh, Oracle infrastructure, Cisco ECI for disaster recovery, Big F5 for load balancer, Fortinet for uh, firewall uh, rules, and App Dynamics for monitoring. All of this now uh, can be done uh, uh, by writing a code and saving it to a repository so no one can mess with uh, any change or apply any change by mistake to production. Uh, everything will go into a life cycle. 
as I will show you now, for example, this is the vSphere or VMware vSphere. Terraform is uh, actually a, a process for managing and provisioning your infrastructure uh, through machine readable definition. Rather than physical hardware configuration or pointing and clicking uh, or using interactive uh, configuration tools by using web console and uh, bring all the resources into one call just to do one single change. Everything is automated and I will show you how now, uh, how we can write this code uh, and you can deploy it one to two millions time of changes with no expectation to have a failure. Uh, as you can see, this is the fee sphere. So if we, for example, if we, uh, as, a lab, as a lab, I will show you, or the demo now I will show you, is also using the same. So for example, if we want to highlight the license key for the fee sphere, we're highlighting by the code. So uh, as well, if we want to make uh, compete caluster, which means if you want to define a new data center and there are some hosts uh, that you need to define, uh, all of this can be done by code. There is no requirement now to do it uh, uh, by clicking or going through the web console. Let's move on to our uh, lab. What I wanted to show you now is that assume that I will provision a uh, virtual machine uh, that hosts a web server. Uh, this is our repository here. We have an, uh, 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 it's a Terraform uh, code and uh, this is our code. For example, if we, let's assume this is the VM, actually I did this in Amazon Cloud because I do, as I said, I don't have the enterprise license for vSphere, but this can be applicable for the vSphere as well. Uh, as you can see here, I'm defining the EC2 or, or let's say the VMware machine. And this is a, a tag for naming this virtual machine. And I want to rename this virtual machine now. So this is a kind of a change that we can face in our infrastructure. How we can do this change uh, by code and how we can assure that this change has uh, is going into a pipeline to be tested in development environment and then release it to production environment. All of this can be done by Bitbucket pipelines. So um, as you can see, this is a volume size for, for our machine as well. This can be applicable for VMware Sphere. This can be applicable as well for uh, Fortinet, uh, 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 Fortinet or Cisco ECI uh, 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 configuration. If you want to upgrade the firmware of ECI, so you can do it right now by code. No need to uh, uh, do any changes with a human being. Everything can be automated. F5 load balancer as well. You can define uh, new rules uh, with F5. Um, uh, by Terraform. Terraform is an excellent tool. Um, so for example, let's go here to the network if you want to create uh, a new route. So we are defining a new route, for example, and this is the URL we need to route to it. Everything now is very easy with code. Um, let's see how is pipeline is running. So let's assume guys that we need to change this VMware machine uh, to another name. Let's just say it's NCGR. Uh, this is a sample name, NCGR uh, machine. So now I have done a changes in my code and this is my repository here. Uh, of course, I'm using Git operations. Uh, so let's add my changes. Of course, I, I need to pass a commit message so you can have a version control and you can understand what are the changes you are doing. So change host name. Now get push. I'm pushing now uh, uh, my changes. Um, so I'm pushing it to the branch of development. I cannot push it to the master because or the production environment because there are a set of rules I have set before this lab. So let's now uh, uh, push my changes. And now let's go back to my pipelines of Bitbucket. As you can see, there will be a new pipeline now will be run. Here it is, it is in progress. Let's check the pipeline. Of course, in the pipeline, you have the estimation time to finish your deployment to development environment. Okay, and you have some steps in the pipeline. For example, the first step is build, and you can check all the logs here. 
uh, there is no worries if something failed here, it will not have that big impact on our environment and we can roll, roll back uh, again to uh, our changes uh, in the development environment as well to the production environment. As you can see, um, this is the timer. Also, let's, let, let me show you uh, what are the configuration for the pipeline. Here is the pipeline configuration. So this is the steps. We need the Terraform initialization, which will uh, download the providers. We are validating it. We are planning it. This is the branches. Once we merge to the master, a new step here will be added, which is Terraform apply, which, which will apply to production in that case. Let's go back to our pipeline to see how it's going on. So this is the build. As you can see, the setup has been done. The initializing, as you can see, it's downloading the provider. Let's assume this is the provider for vSphere, for example, now because I'm using Amazon. So that's why it's downloading the provider of Amazon. Everything is automated. I didn't touch anything. This is validation. This is the plan. Okay. And as you can see now, the pipeline is green and it took one minute, 15 seconds only. Okay. Now, how we can push to production now? Okay. And how we can see the approval cycle? Uh, this can be done by the version control. Uh, so as you can see now, I am raising a request. This is the approval lifecycle now to merge my changes from development to the master. And the title here is the change host name. I will create the pull request. Now, this is the time of a technical leader uh, 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 to approve this change and to check even the changes. Now, uh, yes, this is a change I have done. This is a VMware machine. I change it to NCGR machine. Now I need to approve it. So let's approve it. Once approved, I can merge my code from development to the master. So I will merge now. And the new pipeline will be initiated. As you can see. Yes, here is the new pipeline. This is the time now. I am working on the master branch, which is the production in that case. This can uh, help you to prevent that no one can do any changes in production without noticing it. And if someone did this, it will be through the pipeline. And if some failure happen, you will find out the logs here directly. No need to go to check the application logs or what happened in the infrastructure site. This can be done across all the infrastructure components, uh, batching for the servers. Uh, doing it uh, for the firmware upgrade for network devices, applying the firewall rules, uh, um, uh, provisioning the load balancer configuration for F5. Everything can be done by Terraform code, amazing tool, uh, and it works with a lot of providers like Microsoft, Amazon, vSphere, uh, on-premise SQL Server as well components they have. Everything can be configured now as a code from the infrastructure. Provisioning process now will be automated and very easy. Uh, once per one day, you can provision much server. Now this pipeline is green. And now let's check now the instance name. If we go, this is the instance, new instance name now in CGR machine. And now if I open the web server that I am deploying, let's check if it's working or not. Yes, it works. Now we have an Apache web server and it works fine now. Now we are we have provisioned a new server in one minute only, uh, which is really amazing. And I would like uh, to uh, do this in on-prem environment. Uh, we would like to see these features in our environment. Um, hopefully my video, uh, it's not totally details and this is really a simple step we can do, but Imagine that you can apply this to all your infrastructure configuration. All the provisioning process now will be automated, very easy to be done. Also, you will publish the culture of DevOps between your team uh, and uh, all your teams now uh, will have one scope to just uh, help the customers or the clients uh, to have a, a, a reliable environment. Uh, there is no fears now that you will fail. As you can see, you can check even the plan here 
from Terraform is showing to you what are the changes you are done. So we have changed the name from VMware machines to the name of NCGR machine. This is very clear now that you can review your uh, your logs. There is an approval cycle as we show. This approval cycle must be, uh, uh, so your changes must be approved. Uh, so this is a less time even for change management process. Um, Thank you so much for your time. Hopefully uh, it is being clear and hopefully I will have the chance uh, to uh, do this uh, in a vSphere environment if I uh, get the license uh, for it. Uh, thank you so much again for your time and uh, Salaam Alaikum.